take a leap of faith, but there's an obstacle in his way in doctors in just half an hour here on one. But now, it's Shortland Street. We need you to warn Callum he's facing a potential conflict of interest. With Callum out, we can put the person we all know deserves a position in his place. I'm asking you to clear your office by the end of today. You wanted the top job? Now you got it. Which is why I'm stepping in as the new CEO. You want this snake running the hospital? It's what the DHB wants, and that's all that matters. He requested the laser from Lisa's company, not me. He cleared the funds from the DHB when I'd already said no. And when I suggested shopping around, he said no again. Anything he says to the contrary is absolute lies. OK, that's enough. I really don't want this to be more unpleasant than it already is. But if I have to call security, I will. This is not over. That went quite well, considering. Considering half of what he says is true. You're a liar. Ouch. Where's this coming from? And you never mentioned anything about you becoming CEO. You had us believing that Rachel would take the position. I had to remain ambiguous in the interests of confidentiality. And if you made assumptions... Ambiguous? You've been going on about it for months. How Rachel would be better suited. The important thing is that Callum Mackay was a liability, and now he's gone. So, result. Our result? For you? You played us. Careful. You're sounding as paranoid as him. I'm sorry if you expected a different outcome. But the good news is, I'd like you to stay on as my second in charge. I'm really looking forward to working with you. The tour was excellent. Exhausting, though. But all the other hospitals were really accommodating about the trials. All your hard work and dedication has paid off. Those dresses, are they to be dry cleaned? Uh, yes, and if you could drop them off today, that would be great. Oh, and could you confirm the appointment at the hairdresser? You, you've got the number? I certainly have. OK, what is it with the slave? He's not my slave. He's my assistant. <laughs> He's kind of a beyond the call of duty, isn't he? How go now, Dr Freeman? Thanks, Winston. No, thank you for the opportunity. When would you like the rest of your notes to have to buy? Oh, um, if you could have them done by about three, that would be super. Certainly. Bye. Bye. OK, where can I get me one of those? Uh, isn't he great? Oh, come on, it's a bit much, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so too at first. Uh, he was so eager to please, he kind of weirded me out a bit. But then I realised that he's just really good at what he does. He's a perfectionist. And I thought, why not just embrace it? Uh, Callum, wait. He blindsided all of us. <laughs> You and Chris have wanted me gone for a long time now, Rachel. That's not true. The only reason you're feeling hard done by is because you missed out on the top job. Well, hard cheese. What were we meant to think? The DHB approved the funds and you immediately buy a Stenstrom product without taking into consideration... Because Shane insisted the Stenstrom laser was the only one the DHB would approve money for. Shane knew you and Lisa were an item. We weren't an item until after the purchase. Look, I didn't make it to get her into bed. Shane sensed there was an attraction between you and Lisa, so he gave you the go-ahead to make you look bad. I know how it sounds, but Lisa could have been in on it. Maybe she and Shane were working together. Stranger things have happened. I'm not denying it's possible. I'm just saying you can't blame Chris or me for taking it at face value. It looked like a simple case of kickbacks. You must be able to see that. I don't give a stuff what you think. He is ruthless and callous, and you are next. I take it you are still his 2IC? At the moment, yes. Lie down with dogs, Rachel. Look at that, eh? It's exactly the same. Like we were just here yesterday. And you look just as beautiful as you were last time we were here. <laughs> a few more wrinkles. And a little less hair for me. <laughs> Hey, not bad. Have it a dip before lunch? A dip? It's the middle of May. Come on. It'll wake us up. I'm already awake. And I haven't got any togs, obviously. Oh, who needs them when you got undies? I don't care what the telly tells you. Even when you're standing on a beach, togs are togs and undies are undies. If they get wrecked, I promise I'll buy you some more. No, your taste is terrible. OK. If they get wrecked, I promise I won't buy you some more. No. There's no one around. So? So, in the old days, you know what we would have done? 
Except we're not in the old days anymore. Come on, get your gears off. I'm not getting my gears off. It... Murray! <laughs> it's bracing, but it's good. You're insane. Woo. If I'd been consulted on the purchase, then maybe I'd be able to understand why Callum behaved so atypically. I acted as a character reference in his defence, but the evidence was overwhelming. If his relationship with Lisa was genuine, they should have waited an appropriate amount of time after the purchase. That would have been the professional thing to do. He wasn't thinking with his head. That much is obvious. And yet he's always been so careful with expenditures. <laughs> Who knows, Gabrielle? The temptation was clearly too much for him. But luckily, I'm here to step in. I suppose I should be happy for you. Well, it's quite a significant career move, yes. Shall we celebrate with dinner tonight? OK. I hear congratulations are in order. Good news travels fast. Sure does. What are you doing down here, slumming it with the ordinary people? I thought you'd be settling into the swivelly chair already. Have to give Callum time to vacate the premises. <laughs> and Rachel McKenna? Is she vacating the premises also? No, I've given her the option to stay on. She hasn't given me an official answer yet, but I imagine she won't be going anywhere. That's not right. I mean, let's be honest, the woman hates your guts. Well, that's putting it a bit strongly, isn't it? You need someone who respects you, who's loyal, someone that you can really trust. Someone like you? Oh, now that you mention it. You're busy enough for the asthma trial. I have got that completely under control. And anyway, I'm an excellent multitasker. Whatever mine and Rachel's personal differences, she's got the experience. Last year, you implied that job would be mine. In fact, when you asked for my help digging dirt on Callum, you practically guaranteed it. I know. And I have no doubts that you'd make an excellent 2IC. But right now, Rachel is the front runner. <laughs> okay, I think that's me. I can't feel my toes. Oh, warm me up. Still loving you, know. Just as much as I ever did. I hate you, kid. <laughs> mm. Oh, you're shivering. Of course I am. It's autumn and we're in freezing water. And we only paid one towel. Race your board. <laughs> oh, oi! The winner! I thought this was the spot. It is. Where's all our stuff then? No, 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 no! Oh, car keys. How oh, close. Did you find Shane? I did. And I'm quietly confident. You're going to be too icy. Well, the job is Rachel's to refuse, but I'm picking she'll bail. Mind you, it'd be good to seal the deal. Meaning? I don't know. Find some way to prove to Shane that I am absolutely indispensable. Surely he knows that already. He kept banging on about Rachel's experience. But experience isn't the be-all and end-all, right? Right. So, what will you do? I don't know yet. If it were easy to think of a brilliant idea, everyone would be doing it. I have an idea. You do? I'll concentrate on all the work that has been done on the asthma trial, so that you're free to think of your idea. And I'll make sure you're not disturbed until further notice. Good idea. No interruptions. No interruptions. Coast is clear. Our car. Thieves obviously don't know our car keys are in the picnic basket. Well, maybe we didn't lock it. We always lock it. I know, but we could have pulled off the car seat covers so we're not running around completely starkers. There's another car there. Maybe there are other people nearby that can help. Why don't you go and check it out? Why don't you go and check it out? I'm a woman. I've got more bits to cover up. No, no.
Wendy, get over here. Is it unlocked? Get over here now! Oh, my God! Who would leave a baby in a car? Especially on a warm day like this. Wake up, honey, wake up! Get something to smash the window with. Are you serious? It's too hot for a baby in there. Do it now. You can do one better than that. Go and see if you can find the parents. Put all calls for Dr. Freeman through to my cell phone. What if it's a personal call? I said all calls. Kia ora, Shortland Street. Yes, may I ask who's calling? Ah, one moment, please. It's Brooke's mother, but I guess you'd like to talk to her rather than meet Brooke. Hi, Annette. How are you? Don't get upset. Just slow down and tell me what's happened. Yes, I know mud sticks, but this mud was thrown. Do you get what I'm saying? With respect, the board has made a mistake. Hey, what's up with your old man? You seem to be in true status. Is everything OK? Not really, no. Hey, crap day, huh? You could say that. What happened? Shane Bloody Tucker. He's been trying to push me out of that office from the moment he walked in the door. From what I hear, he was successful. He's a liar and a manipulator, son. Um, you're going to have to excuse me. Hey, you. What was so urgent? I urgently require Chardonnay. I haven't even had time for a lunch break yet. Are you OK? Not really. It seems that our relationship has had some um, unforeseen ramifications. Unforeseen for me, anyway. I don't quite follow. I lost my job today. What? You're joking. Do I look like I'm joking? But why? for purchasing an expensive micro-laser from a rep I then became involved with. People do meet through work situations. It happens. Yes, it happens, but it uh, seems that someone else was pulling the strings. That is unbelievable. What is unbelievable is that I fell for it, that I couldn't see how convenient it all was. I mean, how lucky for Shane Tucker, huh? How could he have known that you would have been interested in me? Hold on just a second. Are you suggesting that I had some part in this? Can you convince me otherwise? And sleep with you because I wanted a sailor because somebody else told me to. I slept with you because I thought you were the first decent guy I'd met in a long time. I'm sorry, Lisa, I was wrong. No, Kevin. I was wrong. Jill will be down in a minute. Cheers. You can take a seat over there if you like. Nah, nah, it's okay. Look, if you can just get her to sign this, then maybe. I you... said she's not to be disturbed. We'll see you next week, Mrs. Finnegan. I won't be here on that day, so you'll be seeing another nurse. Oh, Wendy. Could be. Oh, she's my favourite. <laughs> no offence taken. Wendy's my mum. Oh, how lovely. She's not here today because she's having a romantic date with my dad. They can be like love-struck teenagers sometimes. It's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, it is not as cute. Uh, there's a big difference between, oh, cute and, oh, get a room. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Finnegan, you probably don't need to know all of this. Hey. Don't let it get you down. Excuse me? Oh, he'll just be paying his wife some extra attention to keep her off the scent. That's what cheating blokes do. First telltale sign, in fact. OK. He's not cheating. There's nothing happening, got it? Oh, of course. Hey, your secret's safe with me. I know nothing. I'm serious. You've got it wrong. Whatever you say, sweetheart. Parents have vanished. Uh-huh. Oh, just smash your window, Murray. Got it. God. Get on the tyke. Let me see. Is she all right? You can do anything with a bent coat hanger, right? Can you start this car? It's that bad. If we don't get it to hospital soon, it will be. I have been trying to get this signed all day. It's some pit bull you have. I told him I wasn't to be disturbed. He's very efficient. 
I thought you might be needing a latte about now. You are a star. You are. I told you she wasn't to be disturbed. You obviously had an idea. Actually, I thought it might be good to get up to speed on everything there is to know about Shortland Street, starting with Rachel McKenna's area of expertise. Surgical tourism? Exactly. If Shane can see that we have the same knowledge, why would he hire her over me? If you need me to collate anything? I'll let you know. Was there something else? Apart from a few pushy nurses wanting to talk to you, there are a few phone calls you might want to return. No time. But if they are important? Nothing is as important as what I'm doing right now. Unless you feel that it's something that you can't handle for me? I can handle it. Thank you. Come on, brother, stay with us. Can we hurry up? Doing my best. She's barely responsive and floppy. Shall I start walking? In a rug? Well, it's better than... Yes! God. Come on, Murray, let's go. You're still here. That's right. Your boyfriend hasn't installed himself yet, but I'm sure it won't be long. I was looking for you to say goodbye. Goodbye. It was your bad decisions that led to this, Callum. No one else's. I did not make any bad decisions, Gabrielle. I was set up. Come on. Shane suddenly makes $30,000 available after my meeting with Lisa. I suggested other options. He talked me out of it. Now I know why. Shane is only out for himself. You cannot trust him. You're not still telling tales, are you, Mackay? It's five o'clock. Get your stuff and get out. Just after that first meeting with Lisa, you commented on the attraction between the two. And then it wasn't long after that that you made the extra money available. To help Callum with his love life? Do you think I forced him into bed with Lisa too? No, how would you? And I suppose I did so because I wanted his job. Believe me, the last thing I need or want is to be stuck in this office cleaning up his mess. I really don't. Then why did you take the job? Rachel would have been just as, if not more suitable. Because the DHB asked me to personally. Tell me you don't think I'm the bad guy too. I don't think you're the bad guy. So, two I see or not two I see? Ha uh ha. -huh. No decision yet. I'm weighing up the pros and cons. And the pros are? Seeing through the innovations I've started, remaining employed. The cons? Working for a... Oh, huh. yeah, there is that. Can I handle it? You've handled worse in your time. I know, but don't you get weary of working with social climbing, self-satisfied morons? Don't you ever just want to leave them to it? Rachel, I hear a rumour that you're leaving us. Do you? Well, that you don't want to work under Shane Tucker. And good on you for making a stand. Actually, I'm not going anywhere. What? You don't want to be Shane's to I see, do you? How can you have a professional relationship with someone you can't stand? Why don't you worry about your department and leave management to those of us in management? Of course. I just assumed. I'm so pleased we won't be losing you. I know. He's so protective over Brooke. <laughs> so bunny boy, you mean? Oh, my God. We found this baby locked in a hot car. She's floppy, unresponsive, query, hypothermia and dehydration. Joe, can you sort out a pair of surgical scrubs for these guys? We should probably call the police, let them know we're taking the baby and the car. If the parents come back... They'll get what they deserve. Stop that. The kid's going to be all right, isn't she? I hope so. Oh, we never would have left any of ours alone for that length of time, let alone in a hot car. I used to be too nervous even to take a shower when Bella was that age. I took her into the bathroom with me. <laughs> silly, really. No, I'm not silly. You were the best mum. Still are. Um, hello? Uh, yeah, you, we can explain. Someone stole our clothes. While you were wearing them? No, Belle, not while we were wearing them. So why weren't you wearing them? No, wait, uh, 
Don't answer that. Uh, just uh, go and wait in the staff room before you get arrested or I die of embarrassment. Come on. Uh, someone stole their clothes. Not while they were wearing them. For some reason, they took them off. I just want to pretend like I never even saw that. Yeah. I know how you feel. I would like to wipe that smile off her. Of... Rachel McKenna is staying on as Shane's true IC. Oh, no, that's terrible. That job should be mine. I like Shane. I respect Shane. And is she really going to do half as good a job as I would have? You're the perfect person for that position. And if Shane can't see that, then we'll have to just show him. Really? I don't think the battle's over, do you? Now we wait for him to recognize your talent and commitment. Thank you. Now that the work is not quite so pressing, you should probably know your mother phoned earlier today. I don't have a mother. You're estranged. But Annette very much regrets that. And she's in trouble. She's in police custody in Australia. She's been charged with assault. It's hard living with an alcoholic, but it is a disease. And you have to remember that when you think about why she had to run away before your operation last year. She told you all of that? In one phone conversation from a police station? Annette and I have been communicating for some time now. I wanted to do the best job I possibly could. My research included tracking down your family members. While I failed to reach your father... Whoa, 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 wait, stop, stop. What? What research? What are you talking about? Please, Brooke. It is a very positive thing. Your mother felt bad about leaving when she did. I was able to reassure her that your cancer is gone. Now you are in good health. What? How do you know about that? Did Wendy tell you? I read your medical records. I need to know everything about you so that I can do what I came here to do. Do you understand? Tonight here on RT1, the judges are in the capital as they continue their hunt to find Ireland's home of the year. And tonight's toss-up is between a red brick terrace and an architecturally designed haven. That's at half past eight. Next, it's Doctors.